How is it good everyone in celebration of this Sunday's Game of Thrones series finale? I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys a look at my entire Game of Thrones collection, whether it be Funko Pops, Funko Vinyls, uh, Mystery Minis, Blu-rays, uh, figures, posters, anything Game of Thrones related I'll be showing you guys in this video. Hope you guys enjoy it and without wasting time, so I'm going to jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing you actually guys will see when you walk into my room will be my Game of Thrones House Stark flag, as you guys see right here on the back of my door. Uh, beautiful picture of the direwolf right there. Stark Game of Thrones. That is, of course, the banner used in battle. Well, not this exact one, but pretty similar to it. Absolutely love it, and it's one of my favorite things in my Game of Thrones collection. And speaking of House Stark, I do have this Winter is Coming Stark um, uh, canvas art thing. I got at Box Lunch uh, a couple years ago. Uh, it's really, really cool. It was very cheap too when I bought it, and it looks really nice in the collection. And actually, right next to that will be my Jon Snow McFarlane figure. As you can see right here, I have it on the wall. Um, absolutely love it. I'm hoping to pick up the rest of the set if I can find it soon. But yeah, definitely love the Jon Snow one I have. Okay, and on my closet door, I actually just put this on here about a week ago. I replaced one of my old posters and put this Game of Thrones season one through uh, four, you know, um, art representing different scenes like of course this one is representing Ned's death in season one of course like I said the first couple one uh, rows are dedicated to seasons one and two just like I said different art uh, to, to represent different scenes and of course you have seasons three through four once you go down lower so yeah really cool poster I got on sale uh, I believe to get free shipping on a Hot Topic order once but yeah I definitely enjoy having my collection and of course, taking a look at the largest part of my Game of Thrones collection, which is the Funko section. You guys can tell a lot of the Game of Thrones Funko Pops. Almost all of them, but not all of them, of course. I do have some of the Dorbs, I have some of the Rides, and I have some of the Keychains. Uh, pretty much anything Funko related that's Game of Thrones, I probably own. But yeah, I'm very um, proud of this part of my collection. And without wasting any time, let's go ahead and show you guys um, the stuff on the ground first. Okay, to show you guys the stuff here first, I have the magazines. As you guys can tell, I have the Jon Snow and Daenerys uh, Game of Thrones Entertainment Weekly magazine framed. I don't know why. I think I just had an extra frame. I got bored. I threw it in it. But I have that magazine right there. I have yet another Jon Snow and Daenerys magazine. A Daenerys one right here. And then a Jon Snow Season 7. So those are the Game of Thrones um, magazines that I own. Uh, 12 Days of Christmas socks. Um, they're pretty small. I got at Target. And um, just a bunch of different Game of Thrones socks. Uh, none of them really fit me. As you can tell, there's one right there. Um, they don't fit me, but, you know, they're fine. I just got them mainly because they, you know, they're Game of Thrones. But, yeah. This pin glasses set, of course, right here you have House Stark and the Targaryen logo right there. Game of Thrones, the spine with the Iron Throne. And of course, here's the back. You have the pictures of Daenerys on the back of the Targaryen and Jon Snow on the back of the House Stark. So yeah, this little cool little uh, another extra item to add into my Game of Thrones collection. It's a Mountain Dew can that they did uh, before the season eight premiere, which of course you had to do a little thing online to get it. Um, I showed it off in one of my previous Game of Thrones uh, Funko videos, but yeah, it's basically a white can, but once you freeze it, it color changes and so you can see all the, uh, the names on it. It's pretty cool. I like having my collection but I definitely yeah this is definitely a cool one to have as you guys can tell yes I had the Game of Thrones Oreo unopened in a bag I just want one to keep closed because I do have one that I opened I actually have a video reviewing the cookies or showing them off so I do have a uh, Game of Thrones Oreos opened and of course one staying sealed to keep uh, how stark nightlight um it was on clearance and i haven't used it but i decided why not it was only like i think like a couple bucks so that's mainly why i got it i had the very first book in the story of a song of ice and fire a game of thrones i want to get the rest of them i'm waiting until the series ends to finally start reading the books and i'm very very excited and i'm very excited to have this in my collection as well Right, and before I get into the Funko Pops, I'll go ahead and show you guys the Game of Thrones Dorbs I own. Of course, Ned Stark, Tyrion Lannister, Jon Snow, Daenerys Targaryen, Night King, Cersei Lannister, Jaime Lannister, Arya Stark, Jon Snow, and of course, Melisandre. And this is the uh, Chase version, as you guys can see right there. So that is the Chase Melisandre. And of course, I have a Game of Thrones little puzzle um, 3D globe right there. And okay, of course, going to the Funko Pops, I have Tyrion, Ned Stark, Daenerys, Call Drogo, the Hound, White Walker, Jon Snow, the Bloody Jon, or the uh, Snowy Jon Snow, which is going for a lot of money right now. A Hot Topic exclusive Jon Snow, Rob Stark, Arya Stark, Jamie Lannister, Cersei Lannister, Renly Baratheon, which is the most I actually paid for Funko Pop. <laughs> uh, Brianna Tarth, Joffrey Baratheon, Hodor, which I got on Amazon restock about a year ago, uh, and he's still you know skyrocketing in price to this day. Drogon, Tywin Lannister in the gold gear, not the silver one. Uh, Ingrid, Ghost, Flock, Ghost, which I love. Uh, Tyrion with the battle armor and Scar. Viserion, another rare one. Uh, Grey one, another rare one as well. Daenerys in the dress. And of course, in the season um, three attire, Jon Snow and Castle Black. 
Jon Snow Castle Black Muddy, which is a very lazy variant, but it is what it is. Uh, Samuel Tali, Sansa Stark, Peter Baelish, and of course, uh, Oberyn Martell. Love that pop. Love that character. Uh, the Mountain, Grey Worm, White, Jamie Lannister, and Ramsay Bolton. Uh, Marjorie Tyrell, Tyrell, Braun, Jorah, Stannis, and Melisandre. Melisandre, the Harpy, and of course, the Night Kings. Of course, you have the regular, Go in the Dark, Translucent, and the at t exclusive Metallic. The Unsullied, Jon Snow, Tyrion Lannister, Cersei Lannister, Bran Stark, Tormund, uh, Snowy Tormund, which is absolutely a very lazy uh, variant. You can barely see any on his head, but it is what it is. Mountain, love that exclusive. Uh, Lyanna Mormont, we have Jack and Agar, Daenerys Targaryen, uh, and Jon Snow. And then back over here, we have Davos, Daenerys on the Dragonstone throne, Olena Tyrell, Beric Dondarrion, Yara Greyjoy, Bran Stark, Varys. And then Children of the Forest, not the uh, metallic one, uh, Gendry, Arya Stark, and of course Nymeria. Then of course next to that we have Battle of Bastards 2-pack, as well as the Creators 3-pack, and George R.R. R. Martin, uh, White Mounted White Walker, uh, Daenerys on the throne, uh, HBO exclusive Night King on the throne, uh, regular Night King on the throne, Cersei Lannister on the throne, uh, Giant White, Tyrion Lannister, Jon Snow, of course Juan Juan, Mag the Mighty, Rhaegal, and of course we have Assyrian, the Iron Throne, and of course Strogon. And in front of these, I actually have some of the keychain pops, Jon Snow, Daenerys Targaryen, Drogon, Icy Viserion, Box Hunt Exclusive, uh, Jon Snow, Jon Beyond the Wall, Daenerys, Ghost, and Rhaegal. So those are the ones I currently have right now. Daenerys and Drogon uh, pop ride, as well as the uh, Night King and Icy Viserion uh, uh, pop ride, which is Glow in the Dark, which I believe is only uh, uh, Viserion's eyes, which is kind of lazy, but it is what it is. Of course, this is the uh, box you got in the Nymeria uh, Funko Pop, which I do have a video on that if you want to check it out. You have some um, a Titan figures. Of course, you got Jon Snow, Sansa, Arya, as, long, as well as the Chase, Tyrion, uh, Jaime, Brienne, and the Hound. And of course, I have some of the bigger ones. I have the 6.5 Drogon, the 4.5 Drogon, and I have the 4.5 Night King. And I also have this Wildfire pin right there from Box Hunch that was on clearance. The Jon Snow figure right here, which, you know, I think I might take out a box, but I just haven't. Uh, I just have him sitting there. Of course, with the sword, him posing. Really nice figure. And I have the uh, Funko Pop Pocket 3-pack with Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen. The SDCC exclusives for uh, the 3-pack Dorbs of Joffrey Baratheon, the Hound, and the White Walker. And then underneath that, of course, I have the 3 Dragons as well as 2 Viserions because you know you have regular Viserion and uh, Icy Viserion. I have a red wine bottle right there which I think is about halfway gone but I just threw that on there because I was too lazy and then actually next to that I have my Game of Thrones uh, live concert experience poster uh, framed right there. Two tickets. Game of Thrones. Absolutely awesome. I have a video of my life experience of that as well. I also have a uh, program which just has a bunch of cool random stuff about the uh, concerts. But yeah, those are really cool two items that um, I have and I really can't wait to go to uh, the concert again in October. Alright, and over here I had the Daenerys and Drogon Metallic 2 pack, the Metallic Dragons 3 pack, the Jon Snow and Bran uh, Stark uh, Bam exclusive 2 pack, the Daenerys and uh, Brienne Rock Candies, the four five-star figures, uh, Tyrion, Daenerys, Jon Snow, and uh, the Night King. And of course, I have the Sansa and Arya rock candies as well, as well as the Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen um, vinyl two-pack. I have some of the mystery minis. I have Jon Snow, Robb Stark, Sansa Stark, uh, uh, Hodar, my mind went, went blank there for a second, uh, two Tyrions, Ramsay Bolton, the Mountain, the Armor Mountain, uh, Giant White, and of course Icy Viserion. I didn't notice it till now, but I have an Oberyn one as well. He was somehow knocked down. I don't know if the Mountain, you know, butchered him once again, but I also have an Oberyn Mystery Mini. I do have all these seasons of Game of Thrones on DVD and Blu-ray. For the Blu-rays, I have Season 1, Season 3, 5, 6, and 7. I do have the DVD versions of Season 2 and 4. And I do have these steelbooks of Season 1 and 2 as well. I want to get all the steelbooks in time because I think that will look really cool. So um, hopefully I can do that. But yeah, I own all the seasons and um, I absolutely love them. And as you can see right here, I do own four of the Legacy Collection Funko figures. I have the Tyrion Lannister with the Battle Tire, Ned Stark, Robb Stark, and Daenerys Targaryen. I do want to get all of them. I know, I think, I think there's like maybe 15 or so, 16-ish. I don't know around the number. I'm not exactly too sure about it, but there's not that many. And I do think they look cool for what they are. So uh, those are the four Legacy Collection figures I do own in my collection. The wall, little Funko figure um display set of course comes with Tyrion as well as two barrels and the wall itself there is a box for it you know basically you can just get more characters to put on here and whatnot but um i got it for christmas so you know it's a cool little funko item to have 
most clothing items I do own. I do have a King in the North um, hoodie, which I absolutely love wearing that. I have a uh, Stark Targaryen mixed uh, sigil uh, t-shirt, a Stark Winterfell t-shirt right there as well, a, a Funko Pop Jon Snow and uh, Rob Stark shirt, a King in the North short, and of course a shirt from the Game of Thrones live concert experience I went to back in September. I also have a um, a Tyrion, I drink and I know things um, uh, gray shirt, but it's in the wash. And I also have a uh, Game of Thrones like sigil uh, gray shirt as well. It's also in the wash as well. And I also have the Nymeria shirt from the uh, Funko Pop and t-shirt bundle. I made a video on that so you guys can check out the unboxing to see the t-shirt there. Uh, but mine's still in the plastic. Actually no, I took out the plastic. It's just in the box still, which is why I didn't show it. But uh, if you guys want to see it, you can go ahead and watch that video and check that out. But yeah, that is the Game of Thrones apparel that I do own in my collection. I have this Game of Thrones backpack that I just got the other day. As you guys can tell right here, I do own the first two uh, Game of Thrones Culture Fly boxes. I do have unboxing videos on both those, so if you guys like to see what exactly are in both boxes, you guys can go ahead and check those videos out. As well, on this other wall over here, I do have a Jon Snow, I Am the Watcher on the wall, season one promos uh, promotional poster. One last thing I do own is a Jon Snow uh, Night's Watch uniform costume that I wore for Halloween last year, but I'm not, uh, it's kind of buried and I don't feel like digging it up, so I'll go ahead and put a picture up for you guys. But yeah, that is all the Game of Thrones uh, items I possess in my collection that I can release, uh, remember, that I have or I know I have out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like below. I'm very, very excited for the Game of Thrones series finale this Sunday, but yet very, very uh, sad. I don't want to end, but you know, all great things must come to an end. It's definitely one of them, and I'm very excited, yet uh, anxious to see how it ends. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, until next time, I'll see you guys, and thank you guys for watching this video.